Pythagoras is always in my world. So if you come back, look at my unit circle, radius one, mark a point x, y on the circle, draw the hypotenuse, which is one, x over y up. I have a right triangle, angle theta. Adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. Opposite over hypotenuse is sine. So if you come down here, x over 1 is cos. If I square this side, I square this side. x squared equals cos squared. y equals sine, y squared is sine squared. And y over x is opposite over adjacent, sine over cosine, that ratio equals tangent. Let's go back to the top over here. And Pythagoras says that the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the leg, which is that over here. Square on the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares on the legs. But x squared is co squared, y squared is sine squared equals 1. A Pythagorean identity. Let's divide each term by co squared. This equals 1. Sine over cos is tangent but sine squared over cos squared is tan squared, and one over cos is sec squared. Let's take cos squared plus sine squared equals one again. This time divide by sine squared. This over here equals cotan squared, with a flip of sine over cos, and this equals one, and one over sine is cos squared. We have another Pythagorean identity. We have this one, and we have this one. Okay, go back to the unit circle, the, the circle that I gave you in yesterday's lesson. They all fit in the, in the circle very well.